I've been painting graffiti since 1999. Um, I've been interested in it since I was 10 years old in Brooklyn. So I, I actually got in trouble at 10 years old for spray painting on our building. I used to look at all the graffiti uh, in town. So, you know, when my mom saw that I liked doing that stuff, she started to kind of cater to my art side. I'm grateful for that. Uh, I did it illegally. You know, to be honest, I did it illegally for a long, long time. It's only been the past three or four years that I've kind of just started venturing into spray painting legal stuff. But this stuff is all a blend of, of, a, of a bunch of things. So I, I started graffiti in 1999. Um, I went to school for entertainment and art illustration. I left school two years later to tattoo. I tattooed seven years professionally. Um, and then I hurt myself tattooing. So I started to get back into branding and visual development. So kind of storyboard art, uh, children's books, uh, graphics, logos. Um, and then I, I also like doing handmade stuff. So because my background in illustration and painting, spray paint and murals, I kind of transitioned into sign art. So doing sign art logos and signs for companies and whatnot, that was, that's my commercial work. But uh, I kind of used that stuff in this so you can kind of tell it's like lettering graffiti illustration um, a lot of times I use paintbrush or spray paint markers there's no uh, there's no right way you know it's just I just kind of dabbled into a lot of it over the years so I can kind of use it all this one is all spray paint I, I didn't do anything else outside of spray paint um, and then I had some kids come on Saturday and fill in all the letters too so it's not all just just me they, they made a lot of choices I'm just kind of making it look better for them just you know amping it up and, uh, I don't know I mean that's basically it you know to be able to do large-scale stuff like where everything is proportionate there's a there's a, a process to that I learned that through sign painting um, as far as transferring your design to a large-scale wall and not having to sketch or you know sit there trying to draw it out and make sure it, it works especially when you're dealing with lettering so I wouldn't have been able to do something like this without a sign painters background um, so yeah it's a mixture of graffiti sign painting tattooing uh, illustration and, uh, and mural art yeah it's all, all in one excellent so um where did the imagery for this particular project, uh, you know, specific to the area, uh, did you guys do some research or is that like, yeah. uh, cool? Yeah, they, uh, they put an art call out. Um, me and my friend Larissa, we were looking at all these art calls because I started wanting to do some public art. And Chad at uh, the Urban Renewal Association put a call out for this Anderson building and a couple other buildings. And they didn't know what they wanted. So immediately we just started researching, reading about rock springs, and I knew that I wanted to do a postcard mural. Like I wanted to do a big welcome to uh, Rock Springs, Wyoming. I already knew that's what I wanted to do. My only concern was what was going to go in the letters. So we started looking up, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Bush Cassidy, the City Hall building, a lot of things we pulled from Google. You know, of course, like the, the what are those called? <laughs> You know, the, the etchings in the rocks, what is it called? Uh, petroglyphs? Petroglyphs. The petroglyphs. Um, you know, we heard about the wild horses. We heard about, just, you know, a lot of things that made rock springs, rock springs. So I sent a sketch to Chad. You know, I didn't, it took about two and a half hours or so, and I drew up just the word rock and left the rest and gave something very similar to what you see on the wall to him. And a couple months later, he was like, you're awarded the project. We want to do it. So we just changed. Uh, we changed a couple of letters, changed some of the designs we had. The city gave him, some, some volunteers gave him some ideas. I redrew and then that was it, you know, and, and I was able to come down here and do it. I realized that the mural that was created is for the people of Rock Springs. It's not, this isn't for me, you know, it's not like my weird art or whatever I want to do, my big cartoons. And, wasn't something I submitted telling Chad, hey, I want to paint this really big. Um, I originally, that's what was in my heart. I wanted to do something that I imagined people approving and saying, wow, you know, I'm proud of our town. 
Uh, this is a tourist attraction now. People, people will stop and take pictures in front of this. If people are driving through Rock Springs and they know of the mural, they might stop to take a picture in front of it, um, which could bring attention to the town and, and help motivate people. To, you know, it's like the kids we had on Saturday, that was everything to me. Like they, they all had such a blast. I had such a blast. I was running around all crazy trying to keep up with everybody, but it was like 20 people, 20 kids, and they all had such a good time, and I did too. And then we get people all day that just drive by and honk and go, yeah, you know, good job, and, and we love it. And, and it makes me feel good because it's for them, you know. It's it's not for my fame, it's not for my name, it's not for anything. I don't, it's not what the purpose is. It's, it's so that people feel good about where they're at. And, and it made me realize, like, I'm going to take that uh, into anything large scale that I do for public art. Um, hmm. I think, you know, unless, like, I'm hired to do what I want to do, and that's what they're asking of me, the first thing I'm going to do is to make my attention to keeping something classic and trying to make like a landmark for people or something that people are really, really going to enjoy. And also engaging the community and allowing them to put their touch on on the mural, whether it be through painting, stopping by, talking to them, helping them with if they're artists and they want to talk about art or contacting me, talking about art. That, that means more to me than every line that I threw on this wall, you know, to, to be honest. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it, Jesse. Yeah. yeah, no problem, man. I mean, is that it? You, nothing else?